Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Shrew Fans Killer Toy Reviews. It is that time of year again, decorations are being put up, lights are starting to sparkle, and I am out of classes for a good long while. So what do I do with all my free time you ask? Well, just like last year, I will be doing my 12 days of reviews. That's right, a different dinosaur review every day leading up to Christmas. Uh, all, all of them about the most uh, sought after, anticipated, or just plain darn cool dinosaur toys of 2018 and a little of 2019. Um, so anything you think we got, it'll be 12 days of reviews right here on Killer Shrew Fan's channel. So without further ado, let's bring in our first figure to be reviewed during the 12 days of reviews. It is none other than Safari Limited's new for 2019 Styracosaurus figure. And there you can see I've got mine still new in the bag. Um, and if you saw my reaction video, which I'm sure some of you did, you know that this was actually one of my all-time favorites from their new lineup. So I am really excited to review him here for you today. And without further ado, we're going to rip him out of the bag and then give you guys a closer look. All right, let's do this. So, I'm just gonna tear that plastic there and slide him out. And there you can see our Styracosaurus. First impressions of this model out of its plastic prison are quite good. The sculptural detail reads incredibly well on camera here. The paint scheme is nice and eye-catching, but not garish in any way. So without further ado, let's uh, take a closer look at this model starting off at the head. So, starting off with the head of this Styracosaurus, as you can see, it does have the usual level of Safari Limited detailing with scales of varying shapes and sizes covering the entire surface area. Unfortunately, like most other Safari Limited models, the uh, beak and horns are not textured in any way here. They are very smooth, but they do have some lovely color gradation, so I'll give them a pass on that. The eye, unfortunately, kind of gets lost in the shuffle on this model. It is a very similar color to the surrounding scale, so when you take a glance at it at certain angles, you can't really see how well it stands out, which is a shame because there's a lot of character in this eye. It has a sort of old soul look to it, and Safari Limited is so good with creating uh, models that feel like they have a lot of character. As you can see on the frill here, we've kind of got a uh, butterfly-like effect with two painted areas of bright splashes of colors, and there you can see all of the ornamentation spikes at the back of the frill. Again, not textured in any way, but there is some very good gradation going on in that paint job, which uh, leads me to forgive it. And looking at this thing from the front, I really do like it. Unfortunately, my camera is freaking out on me, but um, yes, you can see there that all the details and sh uh, scaling and the paint is just glorious on this head. If we move down the body, you can see more of the uh, sculptural details that this Styracosaurus has to offer, including uh, wrinkles, folds of skin, striations, all that stuff. Once we hit the midsection, you can see the shoulder blade um, and then some lovely uh, folding up and bagging of skin around the bicep. And uh, next to the thigh as the thigh pushes the skin forward. Lovely sculptural details on Safari Limited's part. And then just look at all of those scales. So beautiful. All of them uniquely shaped and playing off of each other. It's just awesome. Moving down the tail, as you can see, you have got a lovely uh, vein running from uh, that kind of splits the midsection off from the top. And then the scaling detailing continues all the way down to the tip of the tail. If we move back up the opposite side, it's a lot of the same story in terms of the detail with scales of varying sizes, wrinkles, folds of skin, all of that beautiful stuff that we've come to know and love from Safari Limited is here on this model. They always do so well with their Ceratopsians, and this Styracosaurus is no exception. Taking a look at the feet and legs and arms of this Styracosaurus, as you can see, um, the anatomy is pretty tight in there. There's some lovely sculpted musculature, and again, the folds of skin around the elbow and knee feel incredibly natural as the creature puts its weight down on these limbs. Uh, they have got the uh, proper number of toes, and they are in a nice splayed out position in the back and front, which gives this model a real sense of weight. So important to do that when you're sculpting these things. 
Um, and then if we take a look at the underside, you can see all of the lovely sculptural details that, that have been put down here, including musculature in the lower mandible, uh, more uniform-like scales on the belly here, the Safari Limited logo, I'm sorry it's upside down, but there you can see that, and then you have got a cloaca on this model as you do with several of Safari Limited's other dinosaur models, and as you can see, the scaling continues to the tail here. In terms of the pose, it's pretty simple yet pretty fluid. Uh, this Styracosaurus is taking a slow step forward with its head to the ground, possibly in a grazing position. The tail is flicking out behind it, curving to the left and then back to the right. Um, the head is looking off slightly to the right. The neck is craning, as you can see. And then the right foot is taking that step forward as the uh, back, or back right foot braces the creature and propels it forward. In terms of the paint scheme, I absolutely love it. The colors that Safari Limited chose to go with on this Ceratopsian are so incredibly bold, yet so incredibly naturalistic at the same time. Uh, the green and amber and brown coloration on much of the body feels incredibly natural, and then you've got this lovely area of white, which is, um, kind of framed by the forest green stripings, giving it a very graphic nature. It really pops out on the shelf when compared to some of their other figures, and I think that is absolutely awesome. Then, of course, you've got the red on the frills, which we already talked about, but yes, I love the color scheme and how all of the colors um, in the main, much of the main body just gradiates so beautifully. Like, if you take a look at the dorsal region, it goes from brown to amber to yellow to white on the underbelly so naturally. There's never a moment where I feel like I'm, you know, pulled out of it with this paint scheme. In terms of the measurements on this Styracosaurus, we're going to bring in our trusty dusty tape measure here and give you an official measurement. Uh, so from the tip of the uh, snout to the tip of the tail, you're looking at right around seven and a quarter inches, which is about 18 and a half centimeters. And from the base all the way to the highest point, which is, which are the um, horns in this case, you're looking at three and a half inches, which is about nine centimeters. Maybe it's closer to three and a quarter or nine and a half centimeters, somewhere in that region. I can't always get the most accurate accurate measurements on these things. For size comparison, we went ahead and brought in the Papo iteration of the Styracosaurus, and as you all know, I am a huge Papo fan. They are my favorite dinosaur toy company out there, but um, Safari Limited have certainly given Papo a run for their money with this Styracosaurus. And when you compare these two, you can see the clear um, deviation in artistic styles between the two companies, with Papo's more artistic uh, freedom coming through and then Safari Limited's naturalistic uh, tendencies really displayed here. Next up we've got our good friend Chris Pratt coming in for a quick size comparison and as you can see I think these two size up pretty okay next to each other. I think the Styracosaurus could stand to be a little bigger next to him but maybe it works as a sort of adolescent uh, Styracosaurus uh, somewhere in their teens or something. And then for fun, we've got the rest of the Safari Limited Styracosaur, or excuse me, Ceratopsian family in for a visit. And as you can see, all of these models definitely feel like they belong to the same world. I believe they're sculpted by the same gentleman. I don't remember his name, but these ones do feel as if they are um, all Ceratopsians that belong together. Like they don't look like there's a huge disparity in style between them, which is awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. That will do it for our look at the new for 2019 Safari Limited Styracosaurus. Overall, I absolutely adore this figure. The sculptural details are beautiful. The paint scheme is beautiful. Everything about this thing is working for me. And like I said, it's bigger than I anticipated, which is definitely a plus. If you were to ask me for my overall rating of this model, I think I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. Maybe I'm just kind of in the honeymoon phase with it, but I think it is deserving of that rating. As always, I would love to hear what you guys think of this model. Do you own it yet? Are you going to pick it up for 2019? Which is your favorite Safari Limited Ceratopsian? Which is your favorite Safari Limited 2019 offering? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our review today, don't be afraid to let us know by hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Like I said, this is the first day of Killer Shrew Fan's 12 days of review. We got 11 more coming your way, so stay tuned. All right, thanks again for tuning in, and that's going to do it for us today. Killer Shrew Fan, out. <laughs>